Hey guys, it's Leo Brino back with another interesting and challenging video. Have you seen my 2 into 2 and 3 into 3 Rubik's Cube videos? If not, the links are in the description below. Today we are going to do a 4, four into 4 Rubik's Cube. My recommendation is try to solve the 3 into 3 first before you solve the 4 into 4 because it has some of the same moves and algorithms as the 4 into 4. Here we have the 4 into 4 ruby cube. Just like the 3 into 3, white is always opposite to yellow, orange is always opposite to red, and green is always opposite to blue. Just like the 3 into 3, the 4 into 4 has the right face, the left face, the up face, the down face, the front face, and the back face. Here are the few more moves that the 4 into 4 has. Inside R, inside L, inside U, inside down. On the algorithm, it will be written as small letters. Each face has clockwise and counterclockwise movements. We mixed everything up. The first step is to solve the centerpieces on each face. This is what the solved centerpieces looks like. Let's start with the white face. There is one white face in position here. We need to turn this so that this space is empty so that we can bring another piece here. Now we need to search for a piece. The, here's one. Turn this to here. It is already there. And the algorithm is R and inside R once U and R and inside R down. We kept this here. Now we need to bring this here. Turn this so that it is here and follow the same algorithm. Now we, need, we have one more face. This time the face is in the down. So we need to turn it like here and make space there and you follow the algorithm inside R and inside R two times U R and inside R down two times repeated for all of the faces Now we finished solving the center pieces. There are four center pieces, four, and same for all other. The next step is to pair the edges. This is what the finished paired edges look like. 
the, they're the same colors. There are the, there. It's the same colors on both sides. White, orange, white, orange, white, orange, and blue and yellow. Let's pair one piece. Let's take this white and blue. Let, we need to find another white and blue. It is here. Let's turn it. Now they're diagonal to each other. White can either be here or here. And blue can be here or here. Follow, since it's diagonal, follow the simple algorithm that is written on the screen. Now they are opposite to each other. Now you need to bring this block here. Follow the algorithm for the opposite one on the screen. These two edges are paired. Repeat this for all other edges. Now we finish pairing the edges. Here onwards you are going to use the same steps and algorithms from the 3 into 3. First you are going to make a daisy. Let's start. Now we finish solving the daisy. Next step is to solve the white cross. Let's start. Now we finish solving the white cross. Next we are going to solve the white corners. Now we finish solving the white corners. Next step is to solve the middle layer. Now we are going to consider this as one piece. 
and follow the same algorithm used for the 3 into 3 to solve the middle layer. Now we finish solving the middle layers. Next step is to solve the yellow cross. I've got three fixed yellow edges here. If you get three or one yellow edge, you need to solve the parity, a parity algorithm to get it in the right position. If you get none or two ed edges, you are good to go with the 3 into 3 yellow cross algorithm. Now let's start. Now we finish solving the yellow cross. Next step is to position solve the yellow corners. Now we finish solving the yellow corners. Next step is to position the yellow corners. Now we finish positioning the yellow cone. Now we are on the last step. The last step is to position the yellow edges. I got one face solved. If you get one face solved, keep it, always keep it away from you. Sometimes you might get two faces solved. If you get two faces solved, you need to do a parity algorithm to bring it to the right position. Now let's start. Now we finish solving the ruby cube. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. The steps and algorithms I used will be wrote down in the description below. I'll come up with something interesting next time. Thank you. Bye.